Hey, this is Manuela. I wanted to make a follow-up video to that that I pointed out that 923 that we've been seeing in all the movies may not be on the Gregorian calendar. It might actually be on the Hebrew calendar. So the ninth month of the Hebrew calendar is Kislev, and that is actually this month. So the 23rd of Kislev, I found this, um, well, let me tell you about this calendar. I put together this calendar, and um, the thing about the Jewish year is they have four different New Years, and then the, uh, the Islam has two different New Years. Um, so when I made this calendar, I actually counted the days from each of the New Year's and the here I have in the green these this one was the start of their um, fiscal year I guess um, then the purple here is the New Year for sacrifice when they counted the you know sacrifices for the temple every year they had to tithe and this is where they started the year over then this orange it is actually the new year for Islam, the Islamic new year, and it's also the new year for tithing uh, in the temple. This pink is the seventh month on the fiscal calendar of the Hebrew calendar is uh, actually the considered the first month, like the new year started over. And um, you can you can actually Google Hebrew uh, the Hebrew year, and you can find out about this and then this blue here is the Islamic New Year where they started uh, they actually started their calendar over when um, Muhammad migrated from Mecca to Medina and then the yellow is the New Year for trees on the Hebrew calendar so and there's something about um, this Jew, the Hebrew and Islam, there's something going on with them. Their calendars are actually, the, the um, um, Islamic calendar is 11 days shorter than the Hebrew calendar. And, and actually the Gregorian calendar, it just kind of migrates all around the, the, our calendar. They don't do anything like leap years to adjust the calendar. So you have false fall feasts, what we would call fall feasts in the winter or the summer. It just goes all around it's it's really strange and once every 33 years the Hebrew and the Islamic calendar kind of click together and when that happens you can almost you can almost see it like a movie happening so there's something between Islam and Israel and we know that and there's something spiritual something happening in the spiritual realm so um, the 23rd of Kislev and the thing about the Hebrew days is they begin in the evening of one day and they end the the evening of the next day, just like ours starts midnight to midnight. So this this uh, you know that that's what happens. So the twenty third of Kislev is the day right before something. There, this prophecy that Haggai did and um, you can watch the other video but um, 266 uh, someone pointed out in the other video and I will link it down if you'll just go to the other video that I made and go down and read the comments Hannah 777 had some fascinating things about this 260 this, this 266 so there's something important about this day so, this is what I wanted to point out. I found this when I was watching um, I, I watch uh, a meteorology a meteorology channel I'm sorry uh, every every morning, and this is suspicious observers and I, oh look at that I'm sorry. Let me turn this light off. I'm trying to hurry because my, my kids are home from college and I'm, they're playing video games and I'm trying to get done 
before they come back in, but all right. So I want you to this see morning, this. The planets are putting on a show, which you should definitely check out some morning if you can. But in just three days, the moon will be in there as well. And boy, oh boy, is that close to Venus. As sunrise comes on December 7th, the skies will deliver a near eclipse of the second rock from our star. But the real show doesn't happen until a few hours later. The moon is probably going to be visible with the naked eye, but barely. And Venus, not at all. However, if you have a scope or binoculars and you are confident you won't blind yourself by accidentally pointing them at the sun, you've got to get out there and watch this eclipse happen for yourself. Through enhanced zoom, you will be able to see the morning star hide behind the wolf. For most viewers in North America, you will also be able to see the end of the encounter. Then we come down. Okay, what I wanted you to see is this. End of the encounter. Uh, what I want you to see is we try to catch it at just be the right able time. To see the morning star hide behind the wolf. For most viewers in North America, you will also be able to see the end of the encounter. Okay, do you see that? Let me ask you a question. You see the, the sun, I mean the Venus right next to the crescent moon. What do you think about this? That's the Islamic symbol. So guess what day that happens on? That happens on the twenty four or the twenty third of Kislev. Um the, the evening between the twenty third and the twenty fourth of Kislev. And I wouldn't have noticed this if the things weren't so volatile in the Islamic world. So I want to show you something else. Okay. You see that. There's the crescent moon and there's Venus. Well, I'm going to go. I'm sorry I didn't have this set up. Okay. Um, I want to go to the NIV. Alright. So, right somewhere. Okay. So God, uh, when he put the lights, the sun and the moon and the stars in the sky, let the lights in the vault of the sky. Uh, give light on the earth. Okay, wait. Let's see. Um, the separate the night from the day and let them serve as signs to mark sacred times and days and years. Do you see that? So... Is this marking an appointed time? Again, it is on between the evening of the 23rd and the 24th. The ninth month, 23rd day, which is 266 and then um like i said in the i'll link the other video below but in the other video hannah 777 pointed out all of these things about the 266 and it is fascinating so i just wanted you to see that just one more time there's the islamic symbol that's what's happening between the evening of the 23rd and the 24th of the ninth month of the Hebrew calendar, which happens to be the 6th of December here in just a few days, the 6th of December and between the si December the 6th and December the 7th, early morning December 7th. I thought that was pretty important and I appreciate you for listening. Thanks.